call the uh, City Council of Haywarden to order. It is Wednesday, August 24th at 5.30 p.m. Everybody is present except for Councilperson Patty and Mayor Porter. Uh, pretty standard agenda items. There's an opportunity for the community to comment at agenda item 1C and two public hearings and other agenda items. We'll start with agenda item 1A, approval of the August 10th, 2022 regular City Council minutes. So moved. We have a motion by John. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Second by Rob. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries four to zero. Agenda item 1B is approval of the August 24, 2022 claims for payments. Uh, Rob, questions? No questions. John? None, thank you. Money? So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Seconded by John. All in favor, say aye. 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 I abstain. Agenda item 1C is open business from the community. Uh, Kurt Frangie, for those of you who maybe haven't met me in person, but I'd hoped to come earlier, but just didn't work out for different scheduling things. Um, but just want to take the opportunity just to say thank you to the city of Haywarden uh, publicly for your partnership with the Habitat House over the past year, pretty much. Um, is I think it was went really well, I think, and just really appreciate the city support and the community as a whole support. Um, and especially just want to say thanks to Travis and all of your guys. I just really was impressed with their timeliness and professionalism and could just tell when to do everything really well. So yeah, just thanks. Really please pass that along to them yep. and, and really thankful for the yeah. partnership that we could have and hopefully more, more partnerships in the future. Um, hopefully that office is a blessing to, to Heather and her kids. Um, and the community as a whole. So just want to take some time to say thanks to all of you. So yeah. thank, thank you, you, Kurt. Thank you. Thanks for your comments. Anyone else? Uh, John Grease, 2201 Avenue L. Last council meeting, I watched on the YouTube thing, and I didn't appreciate what I saw from a council member accusing another council member of trying to stir up issues with the public so I hope that kind of thing stops and on to bigger and better things the walking trail that goes by my house right on the driveway it's all broken up the concrete and it's been that way for five years four years if that could get fixed and every time it rains Gravel comes down that road into my driveway and it's destroying my concrete. So I would like that, tell me what to do. I'll do it myself as long as I don't get in trouble with it. It's also on Avenue L when it rains. Avenue L fills up with gravel and it's messing up that concrete. So thank you. Anyone else? Agenda item 2B is staff reports. We'll start with Jacob. Uh, just uh, wrapping up working on the pre-audit stuff. Next week we should have auditors on site and uh, that'll be it for now. Okay, Travis. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who uh, been understanding of the new water warning. Um, we have seen a significant drop in the daily average usage since implementing the water warning. Uh, there's been also some questions concerning gardens and flowers. Um, this may be done with spot watering um, and not with sprinklers and irrigation, unless it's your, your night to water. Um, this type of watering, you know, it concentrates a little bit of water and it goes a long way for the garden, flowers, or newly planted trees. So just want to pass that information on. Okay. Wanda? I don't have anything at this time. Jenny? Nothing, thank you. Corey? Uh, just a few things here. Um, first, uh, we have our big Labor Day celebration coming up. I'm just asking everybody kind of tidy up their yards. I know we have a few of uh, nuisance abatements that are still out there that uh, we need to get remedied. Um, so just remember we got a lot of people coming to the community. We want to welcome them and make it look like it's a uh, great place that it is. Secondly, uh, I want to touch a little bit on the golf cart in ATV UTV rules. I think we pushed something out on our Facebook page and, and the website as far as uh, what the rules actually are. We've been coming, uh, driving around since the law changed uh, July 1st, and we've seen a lot of different people driving the vehicles that shouldn't be. Um, you know, you need to have a driver's license, has to be registered if it's a UTV or an ATV. Um, you got to have insurance on it. 
can't go over 35 miles an hour, just those simple things that, uh, you know, some of the people jump on Highway 10 and drive down, but the law is really not designed for that. It's designed for the side streets. Um, any thoroughfare that comes through the community, you're not supposed to be just going up and down it. Um, as far as golf carts, um, they kind of fall under the same category, although that's also regulated by the state in a different manner. Um, that one you definitely can't drive down Highway 10, but you are allowed to cross Highway 10 to get to the golf course, and our golf course just kind of sits in an odd spot. So those people are allowed to at least make that cross as long as it's the shortest route possible. So just kind of wanted to touch base on that. If anybody has any questions at any time, they can always call the office and we'll, we'll help them out. Um, and since we put that out on the website, I've already had like five different calls on it, so we know that information's out there. Um, and lastly, we have uh, um, narrowed down our, our hiring process, and we have hired uh, Megan Danielson as our fourth full-time officer. She uh, is a graduate from Ellsworth in criminal justice, and uh, we're just happy to have her on staff, and nice that we have somebody local that, you know, we can keep local. So, Good. Carol? Um, just a couple things. Um, September 26th, we're going to have a little deal out at Oak Grove, kind of a, I guess it's a state park. Um, I guess Rob can help me with this exactly what they call it. Celebration of the state parks. It was supposed to take place in 2020, but it got, because of COVID, it got postponed. So there's kind of an antique car uh, drive from Sioux Center to Hayward and to Oak Grove. And part of that was a little bit unique because when Oak Grove was established, uh, they actually brought a marching band. It was gravel roads back in the day, so uh, to celebrate the, <clears throat> the state park at that time. So uh, we look forward to it. Yeah, we're going to have um, a, the cars line up. We're going to anybody who has an old car, new car, anybody that just wants to join in on the fun. Um, we're going to gather on the 26th at 9:45 at the golf course. Um, line up the cars behind the Model A. Um, we'll follow her out there, or him out there. I guess the car is a girl. Um, we'll follow her out there. We're not going to go faster than 35 miles an hour, I hear. So then we'll be having a little celebration, some 1920 music, um, and you should be back to town by noon. So if anyone wants to join, that'd be awesome. Um, we've been really busy downtown. We've closed on uh, two more buildings. Um, that have been vacant, which is great news. Continue to have those buildings filled up in our downtown area. So a couple new businesses coming. Um, the application phase for my downtown Catalyst grant has been accepted and is moving forward. So hopefully we'll see another $100,000 for a downtown <coughs> building. Um, it's going to be Rodney's building the money's going to go toward if we can get the final process. But I'll bring a resolution forward for that for the council to approve. Um, we have two new applications in our revolving loan fund. Um, I'm going to close on one more um, property for them um, coming up here. So we'll have three new loans here in the next couple of weeks. So that'll be busy. Um, other than that, that's about it. Okay, thank you. Agenda item 2C is council comments. Hearing none, we'll move on to agenda item 3, which is the oath of office for Megan Danielson. <clears throat> Agenda item number four is resolution 
2236, proposing to dispose of real property and publishing a notice of public hearing for tracks 1213 and the south 373 feet of track 14 in the industrial park. Wanda or Carol, do you want to speak on this at all? This is the tract of land that we're going to be selling to um, Brody Nahava for um, his business to move here, Warrior Roofing, and for him to expand into the metal fabrication industry and to expand into uh, some clothing manufacturing. Um, it will bring hopefully an estimated about 40 to 50 jobs into our industrial park. That's the actual sale of the land that's um, tied to my RISE grant. So that will be a great, great addition to our industrial park. Any questions? This is to certify the public hearing, right? Mm -hmm. So moved. We have a motion by Monty. Do we have a second? Second. Seconded by John. Roll call vote, please. Harvey? Yep. Feldacker? Aye. Olson? Aye. Clucky? Aye. Motion carries 4 to 0. <clears throat> Agenda item 5A is a public hearing on proposed changes to the Haywarden Zoning Ordinance. Wanda, do you want to speak on that? This is a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a change from the ordinance from 740 from last year that the special exceptions procedures were left out of the ordinance. Um, this is the public hearing and the first reading of that um, ordinance change. Okay. This time we'll open the public hearing. Was there any written comments? No, there have not been any. Okay. Hearing no comments, we'll close the public hearing and move to agenda item 5B, the first reading of Ordinance 742, an ordinance amending zoning ordinance for the city of Hayward in Iowa by amending section 165.27. You said the zoning board said okay to this? Yes, the it starts with the planning and zoning board. So moved. We have a motion by ha Mani. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Second by Rob. Roll call vote, please. Feldhacker. Aye. Clucky? Aye. Olson? Aye. Harvey? Yep. Motion carries 4 to 0. Agenda item 6A is a public hearing for the construction of industrial road utility extension, including sanitary, sewer, and water main improvements. Wanda? Travis? Um, this is the one utility that we, um, we felt we could not do with our own utility and employees. Um, so we went out for a bid those came in um, Monday and with the low low bid from Vandenberg ex excavation two hundred sixteen thousand four hundred eighty dollars uh, DGR recommends the council award that um, Vandenberg excavating to do the work um, at this time we'll open the public hearing are there any comments on that Anything written? No, we did not receive anything in writing. I will close the public hearing and we'll move on to 6B, the resolution 202237, construction of industrial road and utility extension, including sanitary sewer and water main improvements, and taking bids for such construction. Where is the 200,000 coming from? Um, we have earmarked the. Um, to sale, sell the lots in the industrial area to go into a line item that we can use for utility upgrades. Um, I believe we're going to certify the area for some TIF and grants. Um, Carol's working on a couple options for grants. And lastly, it could come out of the sewer fund. There is enough in that fund to pay for those upgrades. It's a it's a bad problem to have. You know, we're we're expanding, we're selling lots. We're bringing business, but with that, we have to do the upgrades. So moved. We have a motion by John. Do we have a second? I'll support it. Uh, roll call vote, please. Olson? Aye. Clucky? Aye. Feldhacker? Aye. Harvey? No. Agenda item 7 is resolution 202238 approving and endorsing the sub submission of an immediate opportunity rise grant application to the Iowa DOT. Carol? This is my application um, or my resolution that is required when I submit my grant simply saying that the city um, will 
offer or sponsor me to submit in their name. Okay. Any questions on that? So you mentioned 50 employees, but Juan is mentioning 80. Um, well, just for Warrior Roofing, um, he's, you know, he is actually estimating probably more than 50, but then we also have B plus P construction, we have Adbar putting in there as well. Um, so it, 80 employees is the number that's on the RISE grant, which would be $960,000. We'll make that motion that we apply for that. We have a motion by Rob. Do we have a second? I'll second. Roll call vote, please. Clucky? Aye. Harvey? Yep. Feldhacker? Aye. Olson? Aye. <clears throat> motion carries four to zero. Agenda item number eight is a request from Rooster's Restaurant and Midwest Steakhouse for a Class C liquor license renewal with Sunday sales effective September 1. All the paperwork is in. I would entertain a motion. So moved. Motion by John. Second. Second. Second by Rob. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries four to zero. Our next council meeting is September 14. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Monty. Do we have a second? Second. Seconded by John. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned.